I'm the senior migration specialist for the Arab states, for the ILO, and uh, I've been advising the government of Qatar on improving the governance of labor migration in the country. Qatar has signed up, for example, they have ratified convention on the elimination of forced labor. And uh, many of the abuses that take place, um, for example, uh, the withholding of passports and uh, for, um, you know, which can lead to forced labor, um, uh, that sort of a thing is still happening. So in a sense that even though they have ratified the convention, um, they're not being implemented properly. That's why we hear all, uh, all these stories. There are two competing institutions, as I see it. There is the Supreme Committee for the World Cup 2022, and there is the Ministry of Labor. And the thing is that one is not very clear on which is the proper body overseeing the whole uh, process. Now, the Ministry of Labor has a proper structure. They have an inspection department, they have a recruitment department, they have the working conditions department, and I think they are the ones who need to be uh, more in the picture rather than the Supreme Committee. My feeling is that there is not enough policy coherence in the country. The system of sponsorship is that, look, it conflicts with the labor law. And one is not very sure what really applies, whether it's the labor law or it's the kafala system. The ILO believes that the kafala is actually untenable with modern labor practices and should be re removed. The kafala is a sponsorship system. Uh, um, and no, all workers who come into the country have to come in through a sponsor. And what is also happening is that, I mean, the kafala was introduced uh, essentially as um, in the best traditions of Arab hospitality, but has it morphed into more of a money-making exercise now? The kafala gives far too much power to the uh, employer. Now, for example, take the case of the recruitment process. It has become highly informalized, and by that what I mean is that um, the employers tend to work a lot more with the freelance uh, recruiters in the countries of origin uh, rather than with proper uh, agencies which are licensed and certified. And uh, these recruiters then go to their own country to the back to them, and they overcharge the workers. They actually cheat the workers. If the laws were implemented properly, they, I, I think the situation can improve quite uh, drastic. There is one problem though in Qatar and that is that the workers do not have proper representation. So no matter whatever you might say about uh, workers getting paid on time, if they don't have organizations or groups which can adequately represent their interests, then we're going to have.